Yep. Sat there and lost. 28-24. It is cool. It is cool. Because they don't want it. Fuck it. I don't want it for them. Like, can't want nothing for that team when they don't want it themselves. Um, I hear a lot. I, I see a lot. I hear a lot. Zeke fought. Zeke fought. Zeke fought. Zeke fought. Zeke ain't come to play. Zeke didn't come to play. Um, Zeke. Every replay I seen, the line wasn't fucking blocking. How about the line just wasn't blocking? Why well, Zeke didn't come to play? Well, like what? Every time he got the ball, like somebody from Minnesota was in his face. And I don't have a problem with 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 the play calling. Second and two. That last drive, second and two. I don't have no problem with that play call. Cause you have Ezekiel Elliott. Why not get him the ball to get two yards on second and two? But when he touched the ball, the whole line just collapsed like they just didn't know what the play was. Like they were trying to be funny. Like, come on, man. As soon as he touched the ball, somebody from Minnesota was back there in his face. So it's not on Zeke. It's on that goddamn officer line who just couldn't do nothing, who just couldn't figure it out. How about that? Everybody, oh, oh, Zeke, 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 Zeke. Zeke, it wasn't Zeke, man. It was that offensive line who can't figure it out. They been couldn't figure it out for some games now. I've been saying that offensive line is getting old. Wash, Tyron Smith getting taken to school left to right. How about let's talk about that? It ain't Zeke, you don't got nowhere to run. Every time he touched the ball, motherfuckers in his face. How about let's talk about that run defense? Since we in the, in the point, point fingers um, segment of things, how about we point the fingers at that, them linebackers? Who's shooting the wrong gaps, overrunning the play, can't tackle. How about we do that then? Can we do that? That's really talk now and then. Because Dalvin Cook, I mean, he broke, I don't know how many tackles. He had to break like 25 tackles today, which is unheard of. Not understanding why they don't know how to tackle. Not understanding why we, we went back to the whole can't force turnovers. Not understanding why we went back to um can't get a sack. We had one. Robert Quinn had one sack. Other than that, can't understand this team. I just can't. The same stuff. Can't understand why we keep starting late. Can y'all help me out with that? That's coaching. That is coaching. Can't understand why we keep coming out at home, starting out like this. Not even at home, this period. Six of our nine games, the our opponents have scored first. That's coaching. That team just come out like, they not motivated, like they oh, this lacks of days of cool, this no spirit. There's nothing I don't know. Like I really don't know. What motivates them? Like getting down early motivates them? Like is that the case? Coming from behind motivates them? No, why you gotta go down 14 nothing, 17 nothing, 21 nothing for you to get motivated and inspired to play football? Why? I just really need to understand that. Because the coach not motivating you, telling them, like, getting you uh, hyped up and ready to go play. No, nobody's doing that. They, they just came out there and just laid a dub. And next thing I know, we fighting, fighting, fighting from behind, fighting from behind. We never had the lead in this game. What we did, we took, what was it, 21-17? And they just came back just like that. Why well, we got to keep fighting? It's always uphill um, battle when we play each Sunday. It's uphill battle. Why we can't just come out and play our football and just get up and let teams try to come back on us? We not good for to just be this, this coming out with this with this mentality of oh, let's just like cruise, be on cruise control. We not that good for that. So whatever, man. Like at this point, man, I'm I'm, I'm over it. Fuck it. They don't want it. You know what I mean? These key games. 
You five and four now. Like you, you look at our schedule compared to Philly's schedule. Like they got a cakewalk. We got all the tough games, and we have one more game with them in Philly. So come on, man. And if you don't win the division, you're not going to make the playoffs in the NFC. I don't see like it's nothing that's that that that's telling me that this team gonna make the playoff. They come out every game and they just don't care. They ain't motivated to do nothing. The linebackers still they run, they fast, fast pursuit to the ball, but sometimes they will run the play. They miss the gaps, they miss tackles. Middle of the field still open. We not good at forcing turnovers. We not good at um, getting sacks. Like, we just not a good team at this point. I don't know. Offensive line getting old. Every time I look, Tyron Smith holding or getting beat. Like, I'm I'm not a fan of our, our, of our interior offense, whether it's the left guard, right guard, the center. I'm just not a fan of this fucking team. I've been not a fan of the coach. Been one of the coach five, six years ago, but somehow he's still here because we got this owner, this, this general manager, and president, like, don't want to, like, release some of the power and really get some football minds into this organization you know, go out there and go really go go hire a general manager. How about go doing that? How about you just go be an owner? Why is our owner the only owner in the NFL who does a press conference after the game? He's too involved. Go hand it over to some football minds. Sit his ass down. He's worth billions of dollars. The organization is the highest um, highest grossing franchise out of any sports franchise in the in the world. But we still. He still want to do what he want to do, though. Like, it's either he going to have to die or this this franchise is going to be his franchise. Nothing. But whatever. I ain't wishing death on him. I'm just saying. But whatever, though. We lost 28-24. 5-4. Tied for first place with Philly. Hey, I mean, what? We have um how many games left? We have, uh, what's that? Five plus um, four is what? That's nine. Um, we have seven more games left. Let's see how the rest of the season play out, people. But, hey, took an L today. It is what it is. And I say good day. I ain't saluting shit. Bum of the game is the whole team. Fuck that. Good day.